Hi guys, this is Stephanie, Deliberately Creative. I'm playing with the DaVinci Eye app again. Somebody asked me, can you show how to set up a big canvas? Now, this canvas panel right here is uh, 16 by 12. This is my table. So if I was going with something sideways, I could probably do 24 by 16 would be the biggest I could get on my desk. And I'm going to start the DaVinci I app. Now, I did make an anchor. You can use anything. You can use a business card. You can use uh, scribbles that you've made. This just has a bit of washi tape on the back, and it was a blank playing card. And I'm just going to stick it up here on the top. I could put it on the side over here. I could do that. Let's see how that goes. You, when you put your anchor on, remember that you're putting your anchor on your background, on your canvas, and it really shouldn't move. So I want to put your background in first before you put your anchor on, but I'm just showing you how to get it lined up. So I'm going to go ahead and open up and go. I will go all the way out. I will close my DaVinci Eye app. And now open it. So I'm opening DaVinci Eye. I want to draw. And so I'm going to say draw. And when it says draw, then it comes up and it wants to pick a photo from your, from your phone or whatever device you're using. I want something that's not too complicated, but that's got enough detail to make it you know, worth needing to do a, a transfer like this. But you could transfer anything. You could transfer flowers. Actually, maybe I will transfer just a big flower. I'm going to say AR mode. And so now you see my, you know, let's just lock the focus. So now you see right here, there's my, my anchor is right here. You can kind of see that on the screen, how it's moving my picture and my picture is sideways. You notice what I did there though? Here, let's take that off again. So when I just brought it up, see how it's not locking my, my image to the, to the anchor. I found if I pick it up, and I bring my anchor closer to the camera, it will get my picture blocked. And now I can get this set on here and it's there, but that's really small and not the direction I want it to be. So I am on move and picture. So now it's moving the picture. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it sideways and move my picture like this. I want this really big. I want this to be kind of a pop art type of thing. So I am moving it around and resizing it. If I don't like where it ended up, that's okay because I can move it around. See how this is now moving on the screen right here? and it's staying locked. And the only time it won't be there is if I put my hand in front of that anchor. And now it just has to find the anchor. Uh, you can change the opacity of your picture, make it really opaque, make it really, really faint. I like being able to transfer something. I am so excited to transfer this flower. I'm just going to get my watercolor pencil and I'm going to transfer this flower. If you look right here, some of my some of my petals do overlap with that anchor. I'm not worried about that. There's one, two, three and a half tips of petal. I can just pick it up and move it afterwards. 
this is garnet red Ooh, garnet red okay so I'm gonna draw this on with the garnet red and this is on Okay, look how big this is going to be. See, there's a petal there, a petal here. Now I'm just looking at my screen right here. I'm watching where my pencil is. Now that's going to run into the card not worried about it look at that running into the card again I'm not tracing the shadows, I'm just tracing the petals. All right, now I've run out of my, my picture before I ran at, ran out of my canvas, I'm just going to slide this over so I can see the other edge. This is a great way to transfer something that's a little bit complicated. I'm just gonna make up the tip of that because I didn't get it in my photograph. This is my own photograph that I took on vacation. And you know, when you're doing flower petals, you can make things up a bit. So I'm not doing the flower that's up here in this top corner, whoops. I'm not doing the one that's right here in this top corner but I have some petals that are going into that space. So I need to kind of make up my petal that's going there. And there's another one that's kind of in behind everything. So I'm just going to go like that. Ooh. And then Okay, so I just bumped it. I lost my anchor. All I did is pick it up. I'm looking at this, there's a stem right here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that stem. It's coming kind of out of the bottom bit right here. There's another leaf, but I'm not going to worry about that leaf because it's coming from a different plant. I do want to see how it's attached and I see there's another leaf right here So if your anchor moves, look at this, your original moves. So try and keep it, try and keep it in place because look at that. <laughs> there we go. But I'm taking the anchor off now. And I'm going to go ahead and Just do that. So now we're going to 
move this out of the way because I don't need that anymore. What I'm going to do is go back to my photos. Find my original. So I can get it like that so I can see. Now I'm just looking at the original next to my drawing. Whoa. That worked out really, really well. I did not put any of the, the detail-y bits on the inside here. I could. But I'm going to abstract this flower just a little bit. So there you go. That was transferring onto a really big canvas. So yes, you can transfer onto big things. I just did a 12 by 16 canvas panel and I did have to stand while I was using this. And people are gonna ask, what is this phone holder? This is just a, an inexpensive gooseneck style. But what I liked was that it had this very positive spinny screw, basically a big, huge screw with a large pads so that it would hold on to my table. I will link, if I can find it again on Amazon, I will link the exact one. If I don't find it, this is what it looks like. And you want to look for something that has the big pads like this that are adjustable. Yeah. So there we go. I'm going to paint this. This isn't a painting lesson. This was a transfer your picture onto something big, really big from here to there. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. We'll see you soon. If you have any more questions about different uh, products or apps, let me know in the comments and I'll try and answer some if I have any answers. <laughs> take care. Remember, go out and do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. I'll see you back here again really soon. Bye.